Oh wait, shit. I gotta transition it onto the mainstream. Whoops. I feel like if I beat Rich with Marth, and I played Fox, I would just go Marth. I guess he wants to keep his Fox more, but I feel like Marth is just like, so much... Like, if you can beat someone with Marth and they play Spacey, I feel like just play Marth, you know? Yeah. It's just so much easier than this. Why don't you just play Falco against him? Uh... Braz? Oh no, against uh, Rich. I, th I thought you were talking about you specifically, but I forgot that Braz clashed him with, uh, with Mark. No, 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 I'm talking about Braz, yeah. So I, I meant like, if I as a like, you know, rhetorical thing. That shine was so unnecessary. <laughs> Oh, that was so good. Oh, oh, oh. oh Dude, Randall. Just going for oh, cheese. He's just that's trying not, to jump out. That's not okay, even cheese. It's a lead. Fine. <laughs> oh, that was so Damn. Good. That looks like a great boy to you. That's a good conversion. Great SDI. Oh my god, everything about that stock was just dominant. Tight. That was a really good Did not stuff. take a single percent. <laughs> Last time. Rich likes coming down with down air. I mean, I feel like all Falcos do, but Rich especially. Braz is good at baiting it out, too. He baited out, like, that whole game, he baited out so much of, uh... He, he kept baiting Rich to whiff, and then just kept whiff punishing him over and over and over again. That's the game. Uh, kinda. Just like, especially as Falco, you have such good tools to beat with Punisher. Like, watch the way, like, Mango dances around with Punishers. Um, like, it's just never gonna fall for run-up wave dash back. Which I think is a perfectly good bait from Braz. But Rich is falling for it, like, every time. So you have to mix up, like, you know, you're kind of like the short undershot dares. Like, there's a place and stuff. Yeah. To me, that's like, I think Rich has improved a lot, but one aspect of his play style that I think he can improve kind of like holistically is like just being a player that's more, um, not to do weird shit, but just to just be like highly varied in how he approaches the game. I feel like he has set ideas of things he wants to do, and he just does those things over and over again. He should broaden his toolkit and then mix up between the tools and his kit more often and he'll be a lot more effective, that's my opinion. I think he's always had that problem. He's always been a good, solid player who has yeah. always consistently had that problem. Which is, I feel like he's the type of player that when somebody can beat him, they just basically always beat him. Um, even though I think um, there's a lot of merit to the way he plays. It's like tight execution, good punish game, um, and the neutral just keeps getting better and better over time as he adds tools and like refines what he's doing, but he just really needs to be better at the, the mix-ups and like being
being dynamic in how he plays. To me, he's like the pinnacle, the pinnacle mid-level Falco. Like, to me, Rich embodies that, kind of. And that's not, like, an insult or anything. But he keeps getting better. We'll see. I feel like Rich is really, really easy to evolve into Pandemic Gear. I think he's, he's, he can only really go up. Because he's got all the basic stuff. Pretty, pretty dumb fat. That's, I think, and it is really a marked difference between these two players. I think Ray Boy P is a really good point of comparison. Why he's trashing everyone right now is because he's one of the, I think, few players who I just see that play tournaments is pretty good about having that dynamic neutral game, like mix ups. He's obviously like you know he's tight executionally, like, executionally. I swear I just made up that word, but you know he has tight punishes, plays the game well. The thing, but the, everybody else also does things. He just also has like. Um, uh, like a dynamic neutral and he's good at mixing up and he's good at changing up what he's doing based on what the opponent does. That's in my opinion. He's better at that than pretty much anybody else who enters these tournaments. Um, I think that, that, that contract comes through a lot when these two play and they've been playing a lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah. Also, I think actually Preston's punishes are probably like a cut, a cut above everybody else too. Is that? Oh yeah, I forgot we were watching Braz, not Preston. Braz is good as like, Braz is actually the opposite, where Braz is neutral, is really good, and he is dynamic, and he does mix it up. But then his his execution and his punish, in my opinion, is much weaker. Which is like the easy stuff to improve. And I've told him this forever. <laughs> mm. But but he has the hard part down, I think. Like not like down down. Obviously, he can improve at that too. But he's really smart and um, has really good mix-ups. Which is why he can play so many characters and do so well against people because he's not really reliant on his execution and his punish. He just like plays the game. He just plays neutral and plays mix-ups. And he's good at that with like six characters. Um, so with Fox, if his like tech skill improves and his especially his punish game improves. And he's not bad at punishing now. Um, but he would really be uh, like I think him and Preston have like the shortest path to improve. Yeah. It. Oh hey. Okay. He'd run complete. <laughs> But Braz is looking to do a speedrun of his own, it looks like. Yeah, Braz is playing really well. Fuck, he plays white fox, god damn it. I thought you played green. I no, played green. No. I only oh. played green versus you. Oh. So you go white. Nice. I'm not going blue. I would have liked to see a reverse in there, up smash. Instead of an upper, I would have seen three reverse fares into a weak hit back here, reverse into a grab, into a phantom double shine, into an up smash, of course. Of course. Typical Ray Boy P combo. I thought we all see what well, Preston is. That's the Ray Boy P. I got two full hop nares. It's like you're ordering at a restaurant. <laughs> I'll take two full half mirrors and uh, a dash back and an up smash. My man pulls out the Wheel of Fortune, he spins it. What will be the next move today? True. Why didn't you enter, Theo? Uh, I, I kind of got busy from work and then had more things to do. So Perfect. if I if I wanted to enter, it would have ended up being at like, Seven or eight, so way too late. Mm -hmm. Almost today, it wouldn't have been too late. Gee, our last set was so sad. Yeah, that was a disaster. 